Hi, I'm Matthew John. I'm a program manager in the Hyper-V team and today I'm going to talk about Hyper-V in Windows. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps needed to install Hyper-V. Let's start by going to Windows Features. Select Hyper-V. OK. And then Reboot. Hyper-V will be installed. After the reboot, you log back in and you see that Hyper-V has been installed. Now that we have installed Hyper-V, let's go ahead and set up virtual network. Virtual machines communicate with each other using virtual networks. For that, I need a virtual switch. Let's create a virtual switch. I will start by launching the Hyper-V manager through which I get the virtual switch manager. I'm going to create an external switch. What that means is my virtual machines will be able to communicate with the external world. I'm going to give it a name, say, external Wi-Fi. You will notice that I have an option of uh, selecting one of two NICs. It, this particular machine has a wired NIC as well as a wireless NIC. For this exercise, I'm going to pick the Wi-Fi NIC and select OK. Yes. And that's it. I have created a virtual switch. So we just created a virtual switch. Let's create a virtual machine to use this switch. In this video, I'm going to create a virtual machine. The virtual machine will be empty and I will install an operating system using an ISO file. So let's start by going through the Hyper-V manager and creating the new virtual machine. I'm going to give it a new name, uh, my first VM. I'm going to enable dynamic memory on it. Use the switch that I had created earlier. Create a new virtual hard disk. And I'm going to install an operating system using an ISO. In this particular case, I have an ISO handy. It's a Windows 7 ISO. I'm going to use that. And that's about it. My VM is getting created. Now let me turn it on. and it should boot directly from the disk. And as you can see, it's picking up Windows from the disk and it's going to install it. And we just created our first VM. The VM is connected to the network and we're good to go. Thank you for listening to me. We would love to hear your feedback.